In the rise of Skywalker, Rey flees the remains of the Death Star ruins to exile herself on the island of Ahch 2, just like Luke Skywalker did. Although this visit back to Ahch 2 wasn't exactly what I had hoped it would be, it's still worth discussing what Force Ghost Luke told Rey as his final lesson and words of wisdom to get her back on the right path. First, and spoiler alert, if somehow you still have not seen the film in theaters, Rey leaves the Death Star ruins because she fears the darkness that's inside of her, now knowing what her true heritage is, that being the granddaughter of the galaxy's greatest evil, Palpatine. Kylo Ren reminds Rey that it's in her nature to be drawn to the darkness, just like he is, and that Rey needs to surrender to it. Luckily for Rey, when she does give up all hope on Ahch 2 and throws away her saber, much like her previous master Luke, he is there to figuratively and literally catch her mid-fall and straight up tell her that being a Jedi means facing her fear head on. It's the destiny of a Jedi. While a lot of this film may have had some shallow wisdom shoved into fast scenes, I find the line confronting fear is the destiny of a Jedi, to not fall into that category because it's a fundamental truth of what it takes to become a Jedi. I'd argue that this is one of the themes that's also carried over from The Last Jedi as well. Luke was afraid to return to the fight, afraid of his past and what he did to his own nephew and what this act did to the newly emerging Jedi Order. But in the end, Luke chose to face his failure, accepting his destiny as a Jedi who had failed but could grow beyond that failure. Anakin's greatest fear as a Jedi was the loss of those closest to him. The death of his mother tipped him closer towards the dark side. Ahsoka being banished from the Jedi Order was devastating. And finally, the revelation that his wife would die in a future vision ultimately pushed him over the edge. Rather than face the reality of his loss, Anakin tried to control it or prevent it from happening, pretending it didn't even have to exist. Anakin refused to face his fears. Even within the Clone Wars series, which is fantastic by the way, the episode called The Gathering has a group of Padawans venture to the planet Ilum as a of passage to find their individual kyber crystals, and each one of them faces the fear of failure while on their journey. And while they all face fears relegated to their age, it's fear nonetheless, and they conquer it. In a sense, when Luke tells Rey that confronting fear is the destiny of a Jedi, he's just saying that facing the one thing that makes you the most vulnerable, or maybe insecure, will set you free. And we also see this exact outcome with Ben Solo, when he finally faces his guilt in the form of his father. And if you paid attention to that scene, you will realize that it was Leia who conjured up the apparition to allow her son that catharsis to reorient him on the right path. Right now, Rey's cage is the belief that her power in the Force is based in evil, or will ultimately become evil, and she refuses to become some instrument of the dark side. But as Luke states, some things are more powerful than mere blood, most likely hammering home how Luke Skywalker himself escaped a similar destiny that Rey is now looking down the barrel of. If you have been able to read the latest edition of the new Star Wars comic run, Luke was in despair after failing his first encounter with Darth Vader. He questions if he should even become a Jedi, knowing that he is the son of a Sith Lord. So this is a situation Luke understands intimately. Luke made Rey realize that even if her lineage has darkness, she still gets to create who she wants to be, but she needs to face herself. And maybe that's the whole damn point of that mirror cave scene after all, or at least a new way to look back on a lot of the ideas that we were given from The Last Jedi confronting fear is the destiny of a Jedi. I love that this is Luke's final imparting message to not only Rey, but to us the audience. Love it or hate it, it does show us that Luke has learned from his past mistakes of avoiding his demons. The only unfortunate thing about all of this is that Luke Skywalker passed over with that terrible haircut, and now he has to rock that mop for the rest of his Star Wars existence. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. It was a Patreon special video, and if you are interested in supporting the channel, please check out my Patreon page. May the Force be with you. Adat is signing off.